the last lesson for this chapter, guys. We've worked on multiplying and dividing rational numbers, and remember, that just means any number that you can turn into a fraction. So the decimals, most of the time, we can turn those into fractions. Now, um, the story problems we're going to take a look at today, for the most part, we're going to focus on multiplying and dividing. There is one where we're going to be adding and subtracting a little bit. Uh, mainly just because I'd like to have a little bit more of a multi-step problem. Um, we're not going to be rushing through this. I'm going to be showing you a couple of different ways that you can answer these, and that should be good. If you like decimals better than fractions, a lot of times you can just turn them all into decimals and go that route. If you prefer fractions, guess what? You can turn the decimals into fractions and go that route. So you do have options on these story problems. So let's take a look at this one. John wanted to run a 26K marathon. He only completed one half of it before having to stop. How many kilometers did he run? Well, um, let's look at it this way. This is one half, and that's easy enough to figure out. Technically, that means you could take the number and divide it by 2. And so that would mean that he completed 13 kilometers. Well, that's great. That's, that's fantastic if we're dealing with 1 half. What would happen if we actually use a different fraction that makes it a little harder? So what we need to do right now is to figure out how I can actually use the fraction given and the total number given without having to divide it by 2 because I mean let's face it if it was 3 fourths I couldn't just divide it by 4 okay so we know what the answer is is 13 kilometers let's go back through and work our way through with this fraction then we'll flip to a decimal and try um, one more run at this problem with it slightly altered okay um, if we said hey 26 divided by 1 half here's what we Here's what would happen. Um, we return the 26 into a fraction. The 26 would stay. The division sign would change, and we would flip this upside down. And we would get 52 over 1, or 52. Does this match up to what we know is the correct answer of 13? No. So we can't use division with that fraction. That's just not going to work. We need to find a way to find 13 kilometers as our answer using one half the fraction given and the total number of 26. So what about this? 26 times one half. How do we do that? We make the 26 into a fraction and we multiply straight across. 26 times one is 26. One times two is two. And hey, this simplifies down to 13. This works. Now let's stop and think about the power that we have suddenly gained from this realization. If you have a total number or any number and you say, hey, I want this fraction of that number, multiply these two together and it gets you the answer. And it's fantastic. It works every time. Well, w what if you don't like fractions? We'll turn the fraction into a decimal. One half is the same as one being divided by two. Well, two goes into one zero times. Put your decimal down, bring it up for the answer, and add a zero. Does two go into ten? Yeah, it goes in five times. So you're saying one half is the same as 0 0.5? Yes, I am. And instead of multiplying 26 by one half, we could just literally multiply 26 by 0 0.5. And let's see what happens here. Had the zero for the placeholder. And now we add. How many decimals? Just one. So we get the same answer. So again, you can change this fraction or any fraction into a decimal and handle it the same way. You just take this number right here, whether it be decimal or fraction, and multiply it by the total number. And that works out really well. Well, I never really wanted to do this problem. One half is just too easy. So what do you say we take out the one half? and we slide in another fraction, and we're still going to keep it relatively easy. It would be 3 fourths. Instead of multiplying 26 by 1 half, and we said, hey, you completed 3 fourths of this race, we could take 26 and multiply it by 3 fourths. Turn this into a fraction, and multiply straight across. 4 goes into that 7 once. 
three left over and eight. Let's see that go in nine times with two left over and we keep our same denominator. So basically, he would have completed 19 and a half kilometers or you could write it as 19.5. Make sure you, when you restate this in a sentence, you would actually write that out. John ran 19.5 kilometers and that's an abbreviation right there. So again, it's the same idea. Now we know how to figure out what fraction of a total number. We just multiply them together. But again, as I stated earlier in the lesson, if you do not like fractions, you do have this option as well. As long as it's not a repeating decimal, this should work out very nicely. How about we make 3 fourths into a decimal? That would be 0 0.75. And let's just times it by the total number, 26. And let's just kind of erase that zero right there because 0.75 is the same as 0 0.75. And let's just go through and do our math. There you have it, the same answer, 19.50. So John ran 19.5 kilometers. Now, we put a lot of time into this simple, simple problem, but again, it was just to drive home the point that this is what we could do with multiplication, and, and that works out right there, and how we can flip a fraction to a decimal or decimal to fraction. Uh, this one is a little bit more of a multi-step problem. We're not going to work it out multiple ways, um, but you still have that option. What we're going to do is we're just going to work it through and, and see what we need to do. Joanna worked 25 hours last week. She worked one-fifth of those hours mowing the lawn and 3.25 hours cleaning her house. The rest of the time, she worked on finishing her term paper. How many hours did Serena spend finishing her term paper? Well, whether you like it or not, one of the things you need to do is you need to kind of jot down notes from the problem. She worked 25 hours last week. So I'm going to write total, and I'm going to write 25 underneath that. Now, a lot of things were happening here. She worked one-fifth of those hours mowing the lawn. So over here, to give ourselves some space, one-fifth of 25 hours. That's how much time she spent doing that. And she did 3.25 hours cleaning her house. So another note here, she spent 3.25 hours. This time they told us exactly how much time she spent here. They just said, hey, it's this fraction of 25 hours. Very similar, is it not, to the... the uh, marathon that John was running on our previous problem where he ran three-fourths of 26 kilometers. Well, this time it's one-fifth of this number of hours, 25 hours. So if we multiply these together, we'll get it. Um, not ready to do that just yet. The rest of the time she worked, okay, the rest of the time, so let me just put rest of time right here. She worked on finishing her paper, and we don't know how much that is, but we do know that's what they want us to to find out. So we've got to find out this missing number. Now, how do these three numbers fit together to equal total number of hours worked? Well, we need to add them together. We need to figure out what this number is. We also need to figure out what this number is. So let's go ahead and do that at this time. One-fifth times 25. Well, 25 over 5 is the same as 5 hours, okay? So 5 hours plus, let's see, uh, 3.25 hours plus an unknown number of hours on this term paper equals 25 hours. Uh, obviously, you know we should add these two together so we can figure out what needs to be added on to 
the 8.25 hours to get 25. Whenever you're in this situation and you've got an unknown number being added to one of the numbers given, you can literally, if you have the total, just take this given number and subtract it from it and you'll find out what this is. Um, if you like fractions better, hey, just write this as 8 and 1 fourth because remember it would be 25 over 100 because this is the 100th spot and then this would simplify down to 1 fourth. So again, you've still got options like that to use. Uh, you can make this 3 and 1 fourth and 3 and 1 fourth plus 5 is 8 and 1 fourth. So you've got all sorts of different ways uh, to get to the fraction round if you want to, but uh, I, I think it's easier for me just to do the decimals. Okay, so uh, let's do the 25 minus the 8.25. And remember, this is not multiplication. It's subtraction, so we have to line up these decimals and add in zeros to the placeholders, and then you're free to borrow when needed. decimal comes straight down. So, Joanna worked 16.75 hours on her term paper.